<coughs> Hello again. This time we're going to learn about a very very interesting facility or feature in MySQL which is using regular expressions. If you remember in, uh, in, in my last video when I explained the like clause, uh, I said we want we, when we know a, maybe part of uh, a value, part of a cell value, for example, part of a string, uh, that is difficult or even not possible uh, or tricky uh, using the where clause. That's why we used the like clause last time. Well, I wasn't really right in saying that. The regular expressions allow us to do that and it's actually quite nice. Uh, and before we start, let's have a look at our teams table. So we have nine teams with different names, with different captain names and different establishment dates, yes? And what we want to do is we want to try and use regular expressions to do uh, partial string matching, yes? Partial pattern matching, for example, if I want any team name that has, for example, the letter O in them, I can do that very easily uh, with the regular expression. If I wanted all the team names that end, that has the letter S as the last le letter in, the, in their names, that's very easy to do. Team names that start with a capital L, also that very easy. That's very easy to do with regular expressions. So you know what? I'm, I'm assuming that people, that you know what regular regular expressions are. Uh, just uh, 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 shortcuts for uh, partial string matching and before we go ahead actually let's ju just explain uh, a few of their patterns so whenever I have this hat pattern that means or if you notice here I have the pattern and then what the pattern matches yes the hat uh, matches something at the beginning of, uh, of, of, of a string the dollar sign matches pattern at the end of a string dot sign matches any single character anything between square brackets any character listed between the square brackets so ma match anything that's in here and this one here when I have square brackets this you know this one should be characters inside like for A, S, T so anything that matches A or S or D yeah and here with the hat that's the opposite of that anything that does not match A, S or D for this one here we have alternation so match uh, pattern number one or number two or number three uh, for this when I when I use star uh, so for example if I say pattern a star that means match for me one uh, zero or more a's zero or more a's that are you know repeated uh, 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 after each other if I use the plus sign instead of the star that means uh, one or more, so at least one, yeah, at least one uh, uh, element or one character. And then if I use n inside curly brackets, that means match n instances of the preceding element, i.e., like for example, if I say a and then three, that means I'm looking for a three a's, three consecutive a's, yeah. Uh, and then Likewise, if I say m, comma n inside in curly brackets, then m through n instances of the preceding um, element. I hope that makes sense. Let's have some examples just to show you how we can learn that. Now, if we want, for example, to find all the teams which names start with the letter L, well, that's how we do it. Select team name from team ta from teams table where team name reg exp regular expression and then inside these single quotes hat L remember here we said hat matches something in the beginning of a string so there we're saying bring me L bring me all the team names that have capital L as the first letter we're using the hat symbol and if I do that so what do we expect we expect lads united we expect Londoners and Leeds united yes lads Londoners and Leeds good stuff now if you want for example to uh, match something at the end of a string. So let's find na team names which have UTD United as the last three characters or at the end of the team names. Well, easy to do. Select team name from teams table where team name reg exp UTD with the dollar sign inside single quotes and then we execute that. I'm sorry. And then we get 
Lads United, Leeds United, Oxford United and Oxford United as you can see from here and then if I if I want to find all team names that ha they that have O N in them remember uh, with the like statement we use uh, the percentage sign before and after here we just say reg exp and then on and it should do exactly the same thing yeah do it again and it bring me back Londoners and Eton now if I want to use the uh, the uh, the like statement I can just to show you just to demonstrate that show you how it works and then I can say and should it bring me exactly the same result yeah hope that makes sense we explained the like clause uh, before and then if I want to uh, have a list of all team names for example that that begin with e and end or, or end with United, remember that's actually O when it explained this part here, that's pattern 1, O pattern 2, O pattern 3 so give me uh, a list of team names that begin with the letter E O and N United and or have UTD as the last three characters of their names if I do that, so let's have a look here, what, what do you expect? so we had the UTD before and we had four, ne four, four teams, 1, 2, 3, 4 let's have a look at which team start with E and it's actually Eton lads this is case insensitive by the way that's good to remember it's case insensitive so the, cap the small E should bring us back the Eton United along with the other four ending with UTD I'm sorry Eton lads not Eton United and we view it again that's what we get I hope that makes sense thanks for watching and I'll see you next time